Now let's see how to create post API request using static API request body in Playwright. Firstly, we will see the manual scenario. Then we will go to the VS code and we will automate the scenario. So in this booking API collection, so we are using the API called create booking. So after making the API call here, so we are getting the status code as 200 and we are getting the JSON API response, right? And coming to the API details, so here we are using the HTTP method as a post. And after that, we are using the this particular URL and we are specifying the API request body. And that's it. We are making the API call and we are getting the API response, right? So we will see how to validate status code and also we will see how to validate JSON API response body. And also we will see how to validate nested JSON objects. So firstly, I will take this base URL. So we have to specify the base URL in the Playwright configuration file. So here you can open the playwright.config.js file and you can go to the line number 28. So here you have to add the base URL of the API. So that's it guys. So we have added the base URL. Now let's quickly create the one spec file under the tests folder. So here I'll say post underscore API underscore request underscore zero one dot spec dot JS. So that's it. So here, let me list down what are the steps we are going to do it in few, few minutes. So firstly, we are going to load the playwright model. And after that, we are going to write a test. And then, so we are going to create a post API request. Then we are going to validate the status code. And then we will see how to validate a JSON. API response and at the end we are going to see how to validate nested JSON objects. So these are the high level steps guys what we are going to do it in few minutes. So let's load the playwright model first. So here you need to write the require and inside the required simply you need to specify the at the rate playwright slash test. Then we need to assign back to the constant objects. The very first object is test and the second one is expect. That's it guys. So this is how we load the playwright model. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Now let's start writing the test by using the test object. So here I will say test. And inside the test, we have to pass two parameters. One is test name and another one is async function. So here I'll say async function. So here I'll say arrow function and followed by that, I'm specifying open and close flower braces. That's it guys. So let's add the test name here. So here I'll say create post API request using static request body. That's it guys. And also we have to pass the one object inside the async function. The object name is, so here I'm writing two floor brackets, open and close floor brackets. That means an object. So inside this one, we have to write the request. So by using this request object, so we can make the API calls. It can be post call, get call, or it can be the put call, patch call, or delete call as well. So now we have the playwright model in the current JS class, and as well as, as, well as we have the sample test also we have in the current JS class. Now let's use the request object. By using this object, we can create the post API call. So before we use any playwright commands, we have to use the one keyword called await. 
and followed by that I'm using the request dot post and inside this so we here we have to pass two parameters one is firstly here we have to pass the URL and followed by that we can pass the headers parameters and also we can pass the API request body so in our case we have to pass the this particular URL so already we have specified base URL in the configuration file so that's the reason we have to pass the slash booking so simply I will pass the slash booking here and after that so here we have to pass the object so we can pass the <coughs> headers headers object we can pass the API request body also we can pass the parameters to pass the API request body so simply you need to write the data colon that's it guys simply you can open and close the flower braces that means so this is one object here so inside this one we have to pass the API request body so simply I will go to the postman and I will copy the this entire JSON object and I'll paste it here and here I will add the first name as tester stock playwright and in the similar way I will add the last name as tester stock API testing so that's it guys so we are ready with the, the API call now so after making the API call so we will get the response so that's the reason I will assign back to the one constant variable called post API response that's it guys so by using this con post API response variable so simply I will print the JSON API response by using the console.log so here I will say so to get the this particular API response so here I'm using the one keyword called await so I will wait until I will get the API response so simply I will use the variable post API response dot so here I will say JSON so this JSON will gives me the API response body as the return value then simply I will assign back to the constant variable called post API response body that's it guys so simply I will print this particular response body by using the console.log so that's it guys now we have the test ready let me summarize what we have done so far so in this booking API collection we are using create booking API so that is making the post API call and so after taking the base URL so we have copied this particular base URL and we have added inside the playwright configuration file here and after that we have created a simple spec file and then we have created the simple test and after that by using the request object so here we are making the post API call by adding the static API request body and finally we are printing the post API response body in the console by using the console.log statement so now now the test is ready let's run the test and we will validate it whether it is running properly or not and if you see here guys so our test is getting passed and also we are able to see the API response bodies response body is getting printed on the output also and if you see the postman also so we are getting the same API response right guys so we are getting the booking ID and also we are getting the all the booking details.